What's up, y'all? It's Kenneth. Any of y'all have siblings who are 12? I do. My 12-year-old brother thinks 12 is grown up. 12 sounds grown up, especially when you're a little guy. But to adults, 12 seems young, especially to be doing some of the things young Jesus was doing at that age. Like the time Jesus decided to stay on his own in Jerusalem. That was really something huge. In Luke 2, 41-52, it says Jesus had come to Jerusalem with his parents, Mary and Joseph, for the Passover festival. When it was time to go, 12-year-old Jesus stayed in the temple. His parents didn't miss him at first, they thought he was among the other travelers, but when he didn't show up that evening, they started looking for him. When they couldn't find him, they went back to Jerusalem to search for him there. Three days later, they found him in the temple, sitting among the religious leaders, listening to them and asking questions. Mary and Joseph were furious. Mary said, son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been searching for you everywhere. Jesus said, didn't you know that I must be in my father's house? But Mary and Joseph didn't understand what he meant. After that moment, he returned to Nazareth with them and followed their rules. His mom Mary kept all that young Jesus said hidden in her heart. Wow, do you have a getting lost story? Let me know. Check you later. Man, it didn't surprise me at all when they found Jesus. Mm -mm. They found him right in the temple. You see, like Matthew, Jesus wasn't terrified, worried, or frightened when his parents found him. He said to them, why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? That's like Matthew said, don't you know I gotta be in the candy store? <laughs> Do you ever feel like you lose touch with Jesus though? See, sometimes we get so busy that we stop thinking about Jesus or spending time with him. The good news is we can always find him. Yeah, just like Matthew's parents found him and like Jesus' parents found him. Maybe reconnecting with Jesus means stopping to pray and going to church or reading your Bible. When we go looking for Jesus, he'll be right there waiting for us. That's right. Why don't you just say this prayer? Dear Jesus, when I have lost sight of you, help me remember that you are still there waiting for me to come back to you. Help me to make you find a daily place in my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Say those words. Just remind yourself that you have to have Jesus with you every day because I don't want you to lose him because he's never lost you.